Hey guys, this is my July 2019 Gimmick Puppet deck profile. Uh, we're going to be introducing the new Xyz monster, Link monster, and two main deck monsters. If you guys want to consider supporting me and want some awesome sleeves, check the link down in the description below. Alright, let's get started. Alright, let's start off with our main monsters. So we run one Gimmick Puppet Gear Changer. Three scissor hands, and three Humpty Dumpties. So Gear Changer lets you, once per turn, change level to the same level as another Gimmick Puppet. Foolish Burial effect for Gimmick Puppet Monsters, and Special Summon one from hand. So for our new monster, we have three Gimmick Puppet Terror Baby. His effect is uh, once per turn when you summon, you can target a gimmick puppet in your graveyard and special summon him. And his other effect is while he's in the graveyard, you can banish him. And for the rest of the turn, your opponent can't activate monster spell or trap cards in effect in response to your gimmick puppet monster's effects. So it's pretty cool. If you can get him in the graveyard at the beginning, you can prevent your opponent from like hand trapping you and stuff like that. So to start off with our level 8, we run 3 Dreary Dolls, OCG artwork, and 3 of our new monster, Besk Doll. <coughs> so this one's the best monster to get on your deck. Uh, while it's in the graveyard, you can banish another gimmick puppet to special summon itself. And the new gimmick puppet reads that uh, you can discard discard a gimmick puppet from your hand in order to special summon yourself and while in the graveyard you can banish it and for the rest of the turn your pony can't target gimmick puppet monsters. To finish our level 8 gimmick puppets we run one, I'm uh, sorry, two magnet dolls. We run three gear spring spirits. Two Machina Fortresses. So, as long as you have a machine in your graveyard, you can free special summon and you can make your monsters attack zero. And this guy, uh, you discard uh, machine monsters from your hand that add up to at least level 8 to special summon it. So, you can discard like this, for example, the special summon, and then you got this in the grave. And for the rest of our non uh, gimmick puppets, one of him and one effect veiler. So the idea with him is you discard level 5 or higher to special summon him. And this monster only works if you uh, control, if you only have machine monsters in your graveyard. So you try to, so they kind of conflict with each other. So that's why we only run one effect failure. And for our uh, spell lineup, we run three machine dupe. Two trade in, and two called by the grave. So, pretty self explanatory, but if you can get the machine dupe up, you can get multiple monsters in the field, no problem. Most of your monsters are level 8 and they want to be in the grave, and called by the grave protects your monsters from being ash and that sort of thing. Next, we run Rank Up Magic Argent Chaos Force, and one Rank Up Magic Quick Chaos. So this is great because uh, you have a lot of uh, number C's in the deck and you have the option to be able to add it from your grave to hand and it's also a way to search it. And Quick Chaos, uh, there's a combo where you can activate during your opponent's turn. Pretty good. And we run one Junk Puppet, in-house uh, Monster Reborn. We want these number cards. So self point especially on one junk from your grave, so not one junk, uh, one gimmick puppet. This is when you target, when you have no monsters, you target a number in your grave, special summon and attach a material. Uh, pretty good. And for our last spell, we want one foolish burial. For our traps, we want one infinite impermanence and one marshaling field. Infinite impermanence is pretty self-explanatory. For marshaling field, 
Uh, it's great because it, it gives you an, an option to protect your machine monsters. And if it's sent from field to grave, you can search uh, rank of magic orange count force uh, from your deck or graveyard to hand. Let's go for the main spice, the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we run two, number 15, uh, Giant Grinder, or in Japanese, it's Giant Killer. And one of his Chaos counterpart, a gimmick puppet Giant Hunter, or in the OCG, uh, Serial Killer. So this allows you twice per turn, target a discard material, target a monster and destroy it. And if it's an XC monster, you can inflict damage. This one lets you detach a material, target card, your opponent controls and destroy it. And if it was a monster, you inflict damage to its original attack. Next we're on number 40 gimmick puppet of strings. And two of its counterpart of dark strings. So the reason we run two of each is because with this one you place a string counter on all monsters except itself. And during the next turn, you can destroy all during your opponent's next end phase. Destroy all the monsters with string counters and if you do inflict 500. And this one just destroys all monsters with string counters with special summon. So you can summon this. Play string counters, then use one of these two and destroy all your monsters that your uh, opponent controls. One is next one is 88 uh, Destiny Leo and its Chaos counterpart, uh, Disaster Leo. So both are win conditions that you probably won't be using that often. But it's great to have, and I got both the secrets, one uh, Korean secret and one the Japanese secret here. And then for our next, for our new monster, Gimmick Puppet Gigantus Doll. So this is your new uh, combo piece, so the effect is you can remove both materials, target two monsters your opponent controls, uh, take control of them until the end, uh, end phase and you contribute it and make all monsters you control level 8. <clears throat> so you summon it, take two of your opponent's monsters, tribute it, make them level 8, and then use them for your material. It's a good removal, but only good if you're going second. Next is uh, Dingrisu. And the reason is because uh, we run two of gimmick puppet Chimera Doll. So Chimera Paul lets you, when Link summoned, Add a gimmick puppet from your deck to your hand or send it to the graveyard. And you can special summon one gimmick puppet from your hand. The only restriction is after you activate this effect, you only special summon uh, dark XC monsters from your extra deck. So it still allows you to make this. And last but not least, Apollosa, Bow of the Goddess. Just good removal. If you can link summon with four monsters, you get four monster negates and it lose 800 attack each time you use it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this amazing deck profile with the new gimmick puppet support that's available. If you want more content, definitely leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're interested in amazing some hot new OCG products, Definitely check out the link in the description below. Take care, guys. Bye.